I prepared pretty well. First of all, I took a, a break of even not doing sports yeah, for quite a while. Then I got back into it and now I'm very, very fit. And now it's all about you know the specific preparation and you know, driving the car, getting back, getting the hang of it again, you know, perfecting the driving uh, setup, working with the car, the engineers, all the all the procedures. That's what we're doing now. It's an exciting time at the moment, you know, to get the new car, uh, to get a feel for the new car. And there's so many new things that come with it that you have to learn, pick up, and and make the most of. You know, it's really a big challenge, uh, and and it's great to see and to get a first impression of where are you compared to everybody else and then of course to start going racing. The first drive of my new car was good. Uh, everything was working as planned, felt very compact, agile, nice to drive, good feeling, so a good positive start. For sure there's a chance that we've made a big step, yes. Um, the team is working much better, you can see it on this car. Everything is much more compact, everything has its place. Nothing is thrown onto the car afterwards because, oh, that we, we really need that. You know, Everything was planned in advance, the car is very light, uh, has a nice driving characteristic, so you can feel that the team is making progress thanks to all the new people that have also joined the team. How fast it is eventually, I don't know yet, but uh, even there, you know, we, the team can fully focus on improving the performance at the moment because there's no reliability issues. So there's a new regulation, especially also on the front. Um, the nose can't be higher than 55 centimeters for safety reasons, so we don't launch over another car when we do an impact on the front. Um, and the pro thing is then that a bit further back, it's allowed to build the car a bit higher. And of course, the designers use that straight away because it's better for aerodynamics under the car to have the nose higher. That's why it's a bit of a, you know, not so lo good looking shape at the front, but that's the way it is. And it's the fastest way to build the car. Pirelli has made a good step forward also. They've changed the tires, improved them, made them more durable um, in racing, you know, so there's less degradation. Uh, they're stronger. Um, what's also changed is they've made them closer together, the compounds. That's going to be m much more interesting than for racing because before a race it's going to be very difficult to know what exactly is the best tire today. Um, and it might change during, during the race, you know, so it's going to be cool. Yeah, it's been uh, made more specific, yeah, that now once you're overtaking you're not allowed to change sides twice. It's always been like that but now it's more, more clear in the rules so for all the, all the people that are uh, making sure that everybody's behaving properly, they can know exactly when someone has done wrong and they can uh, penalize them immediately. The aim and goal is pretty clear, it's for us to progress. You know, We need to turn the corner and start this upward slope of progression all the way to becoming world champions. Um, and I'm pretty sure that we can, we can do this and we are doing this already. It shows on the new car, Yeah, it started off very well. It shows in the factory, people are working better together and the, the spirit is, is improving. You know? Everybody's motivated, happy, excited to see the new car, and that's also a sign of, of progress. It would be great to win, of course, uh, just for the experience also. It would be uh, a great experience to share with my whole team.